opening this week. Since it is Thursday, that means it is time for us to talk about all the new movies that are going to be coming out in theaters this coming weekend, brought to you by our friends at AMC Theaters. We've got four significant films opening this week. So, Sinead, what are they? All right, first up is Sully. Captain Chesley Sully Sullenberger, played by Tom Hanks, tries to make an emergency landing in New York's Hudson River after U.S. Airways Flight 1549 strikes a flock of geese. Then we've got When the Bow Breaks, John and Laura Taylor desperately want to have a baby, so they hire Anna, a beautiful young woman who agrees to become a surrogate mother for the Taylors, and then develops a dangerous fixation with John. <laughs> I felt like I had to say it like that. All right, then up next is The Wildlife. Times are good for Mac the Parrot, Scrubby the Goat, and Carmelo the Chameleon until a mysterious creature washes up on shore. And lastly, The Disappointments Room. Dana, her husband, David, and their five-year-old son, Lucas, move to a stately old manor in the quiet countryside. After settling in, Dana starts experience terrifying visions and dreams that she cannot explain all right mark which of these movies are you most looking forward to uh the disappearing room sounds like a horror movie is going to scare me but you got to get out of there the wildlife not too into even though the animals look cute when the when the bow breaks is something that i'm like that could be a great guilty pleasure but Sully, it, it's Sully because I remember the miracle on the Hudson happening. I remember being so impressed with the bravery of uh, Chesley Sullenberger when he landed the plane on the Hudson. But I just wasn't aware as much of all of the controversial fallout or the flack I... that he got from the insurance companies afterwards who were investigating what actually happened, what he was going through in his mind as he made the decision to not try to turn back to LaGuardia and land the plane at the airport, that he, he thought his only course of action was to try to land it on the Hudson. So for that reason alone, and the fact that a lot of those things were filmed for IMAX, I think it's going to be worth seeing. Yeah, there's a couple of interesting ones here. For me, it's it's Sully. I've been fascinated by it ever since I saw the real life story and what actually happened. And the movie delivers. I have had an opportunity to see this film. I'm not going to go into a full review here, although you can see my review here on Collider Video. Just look down on our main page for that. You can see it there. But I was really impressed with the film. It's a very human drama. You're mm -hmm. right. It goes into the stories that happened behind the story. And I thought on that level it worked really, really well. I also got to say, the Disappointments Room is one that I had not it's not really been on my radar for the last few months and I thought the trailer was really intriguing for a low budget kind of psychological horror kind of film it got me intrigued so I am kind of looking forward to this one Schnapp what about you yeah the Disappointments trailer to me was like it just reminded me of the lion the witch and his wardrobe but you know what I mean like get in the <laughs> closet I kept expecting Liam Neeson to start talking uh, yeah for me it's Sully I can't wait to see that I, I'm looking forward to seeing the after effects of the, the plane landing. Right, that's what I'm very after glad. It. I'm so glad that it's about that, similar to flight, but I hope they go into even more detail. Um, so that's what's exciting to me to see like Tom Hanks actually give a real performance and to see what Clint Eastwood's going to offer as a director. The guy's the male Meryl Streep. I mean, every time, and so yeah. is another example, every time he's on screen, especially in the fall, he is a threat to get an Oscar nomination. I think it could happen again. Sinead, if you could only pick one of these four films to see this week, which one are you going to go see? Well, I'm going to be real honest. I hadn't heard of any of these movies except for Sully. <laughs> um, and we've been talking about Sully a lot on Movie Talk as well. And th just the story and the content fascinates me so much. So obviously I have to give it to that. But I'm really surprised by the wildlife because I feel like where has the advertisement been? Zero. No, it's none. And I mean, they like literally started like last movie. week. And out of all of these, you would think that you would have heard the most about the wildlife. And the synopsis actually sounds pretty cute. It's animals and they meet a human yeah. who's obviously lost at sea and then washes up on shore. Even the even the poster looks intriguing. It's so like a Robinson I'm, Crusoe kind of thing. And, and it does look like a cute movie. I'm not going to say it's Norma the North where it's like, let's right. just put a bunch of cute animals on a poster and see if anybody shows up. I hope wildlife is good. I'll probably check it out this weekend. Who's putting it out? What company? Uh, I know it's not Pixar. That's, well, you know, that's all I know. Sinead, you bring up a very interesting point. You know why none of us have heard of the wildlife? Name one star who's in it. Yeah, I have no idea. There's no names of there's any a, actors. There's a parrot. There's an elephant. But there's what I'm, a what I'm fox. saying is they're not going with the way that most traditional animated films do it now, which is to get the adults interested by actually hiring voiceover talent of who they know. Right. Like even Kubo has Charlize Theron and Matthew McConaughey. Imagine if they didn't have those names and it's just like Kubo and the two strings and you just see a poster. It doesn't have that kind of ad campaign for the adults. The kids are all going to want to see this. None of us know what the hell it is. You don't think adults want to see porcupines and lizards talk? Well, I don't know about uh, maybe. But it want. is intriguing and unfortunate that with a lot of these things, like you expect to see trailers dropping longer than one week before. Right. Yeah. The, a week ago, a week before its release was the first time I was really exposed to the film. And it's Studio Canal that's behind this project. And you just it makes me wonder 
if you're only advertising it a week before, does the studio believe in this movie? Right. Mm -hmm. So I, I, maybe that's not fair, but I can't help it. That is the first question that pops up in my head. That's, so That's the very first thing I think. I'm like, oh, I didn't see any trailers. That's because they're already not sure how this movie's going to do. That's the first thing I think of. Right. And maybe that's fair. Maybe that's unfair, but it is the reality.